Africa Adventure, Part 3 Episode, Hunting for the King of the Jungle The hunt is on. Blake, our professional hunter from Michelle Manthika's safaris, was able to confirm an old maned lion. After a long period of observation, he is convinced that the lion is at least six years old, and therefore we can attempt to hunt it. We are able to recognize him by a small scar on his nose, so we call him Scarface. Every afternoon it's been raining, mm -hmm. so he's here somewhere. Now this is three days now, so we have to find him. The buffalo get many baits in this area. Yeah, this is him. He came from the last bait. Lion. Last year? Yeah, he's that, here. What, the, the big picture that uh, um, the one we want. The tracks from the previous day are a good omen but we are not so confident in the location of the bait as we have unfortunately seen nothing except a few jackals and vultures on the last three attempts. A few hyenas also came by from time to time and squabbled in the darkness over a piece of carrion. The camp started at two o'clock in the morning and we had to remain motionless in our hiding place for several hours so as not to disturb the lion. Unfortunately, our efforts were again in vain. It is also worth mentioning that hunting here is only allowed during the day. We had no luck this time either. Only an impressive roar betrayed its close proximity. Vultures and jackals were the only ones we saw regularly. There was no lion to be seen far or wide. We let some more time pass before we decided to try stalking. Hunting wild lions here in Tanzania is definitely one of the most exciting hunts in the world. Lion hunting is strictly regulated here there is an age minimum of six years. Furthermore, all lions shot are examined for their age by independent scientists. Lions are not currently endangered here in the country. Above all, hunting does not pose a threat to the noble animals. Hunting is incidentally an important economic activity, and every hunter who acquires the privilege of hunting a mature maned lion supports and promotes the local economy in this breathtakingly beautiful country. Today, we are in an area where there are a particularly large number of pesky tsetse flies. We have almost completely circumnavigated our bait and are nearly back to our shelter when Blake suddenly stands motionless. A lion of about two years looks at us annoyed and feels visibly disturbed by our presence. Now he has to get up, even though his stomach is so full. With ponderous steps, the young male disappears into the thicket. This has not escaped the notice of the jackal and the vultures, and they take to their heels. The last vultures, however, only disappear when we come to the bait with the car to check the wildlife cameras and make preparations for our next sit. This includes, among other things, clearing the way for the perfect view. Unfortunately, our lion was not visible on the camera today either.
Blake thinks that our lion Scarface has probably filled his belly and gone underground somewhere in the jungle. We decide to head back to camp when Freddy, our government man, suddenly snaps his fingers. Just what has he discovered? It is indeed a strong mane lion, but which one? Is it really the one he's looking for? Is it really Scarface? He's already spotted us and has us in his sights at a distance of about 150 meters. It is just too far to make out the little scar. It's no use. We'll have to get closer. Blake points out again that he can't see the scar clearly enough, even at this distance. So we decide to stalk even closer, to be sure it's the one we're looking for. But first, we change rifles. jungle is not yet interested in us. If we stalk even closer, he will probably react. The only question is, how? As of now, we can't see the spot where he's lying. At the moment, it looks like he doesn't feel much like moving around at all. At least we have his undivided attention now. This, of course, makes our heartbeat skyrocket. With every step closer to the lion, our adrenaline level increases. The tension is tangible. Will he still be in the same place? Will we get to see him soon? Suddenly, the lion appears, and with mighty strides, it runs towards us. After a quick check through binoculars, Blake opens fire. A well-aimed shot puts the lion down at a distance of about 30 yards. A hunt that is virtually unsurpassable in terms of suspense comes to a successful conclusion. Slowly, the tension subsides. It's hard to imagine what would have happened if we had missed a shot on such a dangerous animal. But you can always rely on our record-breaking hunter. Blake, our stalking guide, thanks to his well-rehearsed team, was able to fulfill a lifelong dream of our hunter by shooting a wild, old, maned lion. Not by the bait, but by stalking into the middle of our lion's hunting ground. <laughs> That's him. I was wondering why not come to the bait. He's so full. Yeah. So full. Safi. Okay, I want it to make more exciting. Pick a umbali. Yeah. 
Das ist genau der richtige. But I think he put a rock when he shot him. You see that? I think he. The organizational work of Josef from Westfalia Jagdreisen has once again been excellent. You see this car? Yeah. That's him. Beautiful wildlife. We enjoy the moments with the king of the jungle before heading back to camp, where we are greeted with an impressive reception and a worthy conclusion to a rewarding day. <laughs> In the middle, under, under, under. More just feel it. Tattoo! You! Fuck! Okay, Santa. Well done. Freunde, you put them here. Schwer? Okay, come on, picture, no joke. successful lion hunt draws to a close. The lion killed is estimated to be at least seven to eight years old and has therefore more than fulfilled the requirements. In the words of the locals, Kabubi Kabubi.